Well, you have a uh, video walk around of the car. I thought I'd give you a, just a description of uh, some of the pictures. 1985 Fiero GT. I bought it when it was nine months old. Daily driver for many years. Uh, converted to the 4.9 Cadillac. Uh, did some uh, sleeper modifications, but it, besides the wheels, it looks pretty stock on the road. Um, it uh, surprises a lot of Mustangs. Uh, it's also had a, got a, a rear deck with a wing, if you like that configuration better. It's painted at the same time the car was repainted. A Borbit wheels, 17 inch by 8 or 9, nine I think. And the tires are the uh, same offset as a Ferrari 308, so it gives it better handling. Uh, custom uh, vent in the front uh, behind the radiator, and there's custom vent in the rear to get the heat out of, the, out of that thing. Um, the Cadillac 4.9 with a custom air intake. That's all uh, aluminum fabricated to fit in there. And uh, that's the uh, reinforcing for the rear struts. Aero clip lines going down to uh, horizontally mounted oil cooler underneath the car, thermostatically controlled with a fan. And uh, that switches for the idle motor on the Cadillac. It's kind of annoying if you let it stay on. Those little switches control the fan behind the oil cooler and the running lights. 120 mile an hour speedometer console put in. Change the odometer to read the same as it was before. Put in central gauges for the battery and oil pressure. Uh, carbon fiber treatment on the dash. Custom floor mats, leather seats. RCC suspension, coilovers uh, in the front and rear. Pretty harsh suspension. You might not like that, but uh, I did. Um, and the front uh, has all kinds of relays, fuses for the various add-ons, uh, powerful hella driving lights, uh, air horn, uh, fans and whatnot. Underneath the uh, spare tire, there is the battery. Moved it from the rear and... Uh, the cables run back uh, underneath the car to where the battery used to be with a cutoff switch so you can disable everything. little nick there when you get in on the driver's side. Uh, there's only a couple of imperfections. A wear mark on the seat. The leather's worn there a little bit and the, it's a little mark on that quarter panel uh, window there. A little discoloration on one of the floor mats.